All right, here we are at the start of Stage 12, Freddy Rodriguez. Freddy, we talked yesterday, and uh, you were pretty excited about the opportunity uh, to sprint for yourself for the win. You were up there in the front. Lead us through that last kilometer. Uh, well, you know, yesterday was a pretty active day, a lot of attacking, and um, I was uh, basically protecting Cadell most of the day, and I felt really good. Uh, as we hit the last 20 kilometers, I was super confident. Legs felt like I was just soft pedaling the whole day. Uh, I knew I had a good chance. I knew there was a lot of luck involved. I'd seen I'd played everything perfectly, except for the the last kilometer. You know, we were told a kilometer and a half is going to be, you know, small roads, but nowhere in the course profile did it say anything about an S chicane at high speed. And I think that, I mean, nine out of ten times, the Peloton would have crashed in that corner. Uh, there was just no no way to avoid it. I had nothing to do but just hit the guardrail full speed. Uh, really disappointing because again. You know, again, I blame the Tour de France organization for not looking after the riders' best interest. You know, at that point, they're just looking at you know start and finish money and who's paying who's paying the most money to show have the riders show up at certain places, and they're really not thinking it over what what's good for our health. I know that Tom Boonen was quick to uh, point the finger to Credit Agricole lead out man Julian Dean. Uh, I guess he came in pretty hot. And is that the type of thing? Maybe he was the guy to take it the fastest, but really the as you would say, the, the blame lays more on the course design than any one rider. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you're when you go into a field swim. You know, guys take it hot. Some guys, you know, have a good lead out. You know, everybody's taking their risk. And when you, when Julian Dean probably shot that corner, he never expected to be going into a nest corner. Not not a, not okay to go from the line. Not when it's not listed in the profile. So yeah, it was, it was Julian Dean's fault we crashed, but. It sh you know, we shouldn't have that kind of chicane at less than a K from the finish line. Not when there's a field coming at full speed, and then that's just complete negligence in the Tour de France again. We're well, really sorry to hear about you hitting the deck for the second time hard in a sprint. What are the injuries? I mean, did you land on any of the old injuries? What are, what are the new injuries? What's, the, what's your situation? Uh, I just have a really sore knee, really sore back, and uh, landed on my head, so my neck's a little bit messed up, and my stomach's kind of acting up. My body's kind of in a bit of shock, so it just body's just in a bit of a shock mode right now and just trying to hope that uh, I'm able to recover. It's your second time in the tour of having to recover during the race. I mean, pretty much most people who are watching have hit the deck at one point or another and usually take a week to recover. How do you get back on the bike and race the next day? I don't know. You know, a lot of motivation, a lot of friends, a lot of family. And, uh, you know, at this point, you know, I'm just going to go out there and, and give it another try. I mean, I'm not. I'm not expecting to to win a stage today. I'm not. I'm, I'm expecting to finish. And if I don't finish, at the same time, I've, all, I've also given everything I had, and, uh, and and it's been hard on me, and it's uh, it's been very, very frustrating. But uh, you know, I'm gonna go out there and, and try to finish. All right, Freddie. Best of luck. Thanks for the time. All right.